Ubisoft have just revealed a brand new multiplayer first person shooter called X Defiant. The development of this game is led by the Ubisoft San Francisco studio and the game runs on the Snowdrop engine which I believe makes this the first ever first person shooter to run on that engine. So what is this game then? Well at its core it is an arena shooter set in the Tom Clancy universe and it brings together some of Ubisoft's Tom Clancy franchises. The ones that they've revealed so far are Splinter Cell, The Division and Ghost Recon. This will be free to play and they said it focuses on realistic gunplay and personalised classes. In terms of the gunplay they said that it is a top priority for them with authentic weapons and attachments and they put a lot of effort into how they look and feel and the attachments do affect the gunplay. The gameplay is very fast paced with a reasonably fast time to kill, familiar for all players of the genre and look at the gameplay, it looks a lot like COD so I'd expect a similar type of gameplay style. The characters that you play as are called Defiance and they're part of different factions and they've revealed four factions so far. We've got the Wolves and they're part of the Ghost Recon universe and they're the tank class so they've got higher health, they've got shield based abilities and then we've got two factions from the Division. We've got the Cleaners which are Assault, they're the Flamers, they've got high DPS and on the other side of the fence from the Division is the Outcast and they'll be your healers. And then there's Echelon which are the support class and they're from Splinter Cell. They're the support faction and they're all about hiding information from enemies and giving information to your teammates. These all have passive traits, an ultra ability and a freedom to choose from a pool of different abilities and you can change loadout pretty much every time that you respawn so if you pick a character you're not locked into that or that loadout throughout the match and you can switch and change things up in the gameplay they didn't really go into specifics but we saw stuff like invisibility turrets being put down healing shields that kind of thing they also said that more will be revealed and added down the line in terms of maps and modes, well the maps they said are pulling inspiration from all of the other Tom Clancy games and you can see that in the footage some of the maps look very similar to areas from The Division. And they're doing a closed test which starts August the 5th if you're in the US and Canada on PC. And in that test there will be 10 maps to play on, 7 of them are arena style maps and 3 of them are linear. And again they said they'd add more maps and game modes throughout the live service. Three of those arena modes are Domination, Ringleader and Upload. So I'd guess that's just your typical Domination, TDM and Capture the Flag. And then the linear game modes will be Escort and Zone Control. Escort looks like they were taking this big robo dog and Zone Control I imagine that's maybe just a bigger version of Domination. But they'll offer different things in these game modes and maps. Some that have a progression style gameplay, some that are more casual, fun, some competitive and some that are high risk. There wasn't much more that they added than that really apart from that they are getting people in early to play this game and give feedback on it and they want to develop the game along with the community, take feedback on board and change and tweak things based on that reaction. But they did insist several times that this is a first person shooter first rather than an ability game and they said that they want this game to last for years, adding features down the line, they don't want to abandon it after it launches and just move on to another game. They said that they're going to be dedicated to the community. So that's all we've got for now. Apparently some people have done early playtesting on this, so there might be other content creators out there who you could watch who've got a bit more insight into this, whether they can say anything or not, I don't know, but this information is just based on the reveal that I've watched about 10 minutes ago. My first reaction to this, I'm interested, I'd love to play it and give it a go, the gun play looks solid and I like the fact that it's free to play but I do have a lot of reservations about it mainly I'm not sure that arena shooters even when you add in big franchises and abilities can really cut it anymore and stand the test of time if they're not COD. I think you've got to bring something else to the table nowadays something bigger and more unique that's going to capture the attention of that audience because a lot of them are just playing Warzone now as that's got way more variety and gameplay options than your typical small COD map or game mode and it looks like that's what this game is so I think X Defiance will struggle in that department and feel a bit old hat. Also, it is a very different look and feel for a Tom Clancy game, which will turn a lot of people off. I know that in the last few years or so, Tom Clancy games aren't really what they used to be and have changed in their style and appearance anyways. Siege, for example, some of the abilities and cosmetics in that are wild. But for a lot of people, myself included, Tom Clancy to me used to mean a thoughtful tactical game like Rainbow Six or Ghost Recon, the original Splinter Cell. But this is a completely different vibe to that in the gameplay and the look. And I don't think that this punky bright color style will sit well 
well with those long-term fats. So there it is. Do let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you want to sign up for the playtest, you can go to playxdefined.com. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you didn't, a dislike. Subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one.